This is episode five of Rescuing Ursula. And since the last time I put a carburetor on here, uh, it's one I had that was a spare, and it is the self-priming kind. Um, I have put some fuel in this tank to check for leaks, and miracle of miracles, no leaks. Um, I've had to find some parts that weren't included with this mower um, or had wrong parts. So I've got the three screws that hold this plate on and they're five sixteenths and they, they screw into the carb and then one I call the hanger screws in there. So that just, that just hangs, that just hangs that unit on there. I've got uh, three or four of the uh, little shoulder screws, five sixteenths head that that screws through the tank and into then the threaded parts of the of the rewinder. And so the rewinder goes on, then the fuel tank. I very carefully have installed that, but it's got to come off here in a second because I'm going to be putting the uh, the governor uh, the uh, the uh, they call it the air vane, but it's really not. It's just linkage from the thermostat over here to the carb it's going to connect right there and see when that when the engine's cold it's like that and you pull the cord and it starts getting warm real fast it, it opens up and clears out of the way because that arm swings it out of the way um i did put a new uh, rubber gasket on the manifold because the one that was on there was kind of mushed um And I wanted to show you that because see, this is not correct. This has to be inside. So let's go ahead and do that while I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna pull this off. Okay. And now, let me set the phone down because I gotta install this arm. And this can be tricky. So here it is. And this is gonna screw into the point with that screw hole right there so it goes like that and this pin you want this pin to go in that groove on the choking part of that cord so I've got it in place and now I can start to tighten it a quarter inch socket and I'm kind of tightened it some haven't over tightened it and see this 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 is free movement okay but once you put that spring on there which is this little guy this is the what was missing he had a, a a spring that was too strong looked like he'd pulled it off a ballpoint pen or something this tiny little spring with the circles on the ends is correct. And it's very weak. And it needs to be weak because this arm pushes it out of the way when this thermostat gets warm. I'll show you what I mean by connecting it. So I'm going to connect this spring. And they get lost because they go boing and go flying. But this is where it goes. It hooks, it hooks right there over this little metal tab right in there see it's around that okay so i'm going to just let it dangle there for a second because i've got to change hands and now i'm going to grab it and move it this way and connect it to this arm and i put that circle around that part and make sure it's centered up and right there okay so now this is all correct and see this is that's very weak. You want it to just bounce around like that. And then when this muffler gets warm, it's going to go warm, warm, warm. And it's going to move that choke out of the way. And then it'll run um, the way it's supposed to without being choked. This is choked just for starting. And once it's warm, that's out of the way. And then if 
after you cut your grass for you to take all this apart and set it, come look at it and took it off, you'd look, it'd look like that. And then slowly as it gets cold, colder, colder, this swings back into place. So it'll start choked the next time. So that's how that works. Um, so let's get the uh, let's get the rewinder back on, and then we will uh, put the tank on. So the rewinder goes first. And this piece here has to be inside the rewinder, not outside, the part with the spring on it. All right, so there's that. So let me see if I can ease this into position. It's always tricky right up there. Oh, that's too much there. Okay, so now um, I've got this under the rewinder, this side under the rewinder, this big piece is out. This keeps this in position so that when the flywheel's turning, uh, this isn't going to go in and be attracted to the magnet and go be going clunk, 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 because that has happened to me in the past where I didn't didn't have this in the correct position. I had to go back in. Oh, yeah, there it is. So uh, that's looking good. Um, I need to put my 3 8 screws in. Uh, there's four of them. Let me see if I can find them. There's one, two... This might be okay. We need to put these three eighths head screws in. That one's going in pretty good. Uh, the long ones go up front most of the time. The short ones will work, but I often find that the the, uh, the short screws go here in the back. I actually need to get my gloves back on, but then this screw is not correct, so I gotta find another one. Another three eight screw, I think, is going to work okay. That's going to go over here on this one. All right, and start tightening these things down. Got that one pretty snug. This one going. That's pretty good. Sometimes helps to put a drop of oil on these, so I'm going to do that. Is secure it's on there and this is what people often forget is the dipstick the dipstick had to come off or swung out of the way to get the rewinder back on you got to swing it back into position and now you get one of these screws I showed you earlier it has a tiny little shoulder on it it's the same ones that attach the gas tank so let me get that going you see it must not have the hole lined up. Let's go around here and look at it. Yep. There we go. Okay, so now it's going in there. So now I've got to get a get a five eighths socket on there. Okay, and the 
like to push down on the dipstick with my hand. So I'm gonna do that. I'm, I apologize for not showing you what I'm doing. I'm pushing down the dipstick. Well, I'm putting, putting this 5 8 in. It's not wanting to go in. Not sure what's up with that. Okay. That was my wife calling. That's not sure why that's doing that. It's sitting up too high. So let me get a crescent wrench on it and see if I can cinch it up that way. It shouldn't be that hard, really. See if I can move the dipstick now. Okay, that dipstick is snug. It looks like it is. And I don't like the way that looks. Let me see if I can get it in a little better position. See, it's I see a little, I see a little gap there. I don't want oil leaking out of this thing. I may place this dipstick with one that, that fits better. We've got a, a collection of them. Okay, it's loose. Let me see if I can figure out why it's not seating. It doesn't really want to go in there. Let's see. I'm clean some of this debris out because as much as I'm monkeying around here, I don't want this stuff falling into my crankcase. All right. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull this one out. come back in a minute and we're going to have a, a dipstick that maybe fits that a little better. All right, so come back soon.